Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about mycoplasma pneumonia. This bacteria has a sterile in the cell wall, which makes it unstainable by gram stain, but we can culture it by using Eton agar. And it infamously causes the walking pneumonia, which is very, very common among soldiers and prisoners. It's called walking pneumonia because once you take an x-ray of the patient's chest, you'll see a very horrible pneumonia-like picture. It looks very severe on x-ray, but the patient can be walking fine with little to no symptoms. So there's a discrepancy between the x-rays and the presentation. And this is why we call it walking pneumonia. Symptoms-wise, expect mild pneumonia symptoms. So think of headache, cough, mild fever, maybe shortness of breath. The infection increases immunoglobin M, and this is known as cold agglutinin. If untreated, this can lead to hemolysis. Most of the time, the infection can be effectively treated without the patient even knowing. If they take pretty much any antibiotic for any reason, the antibiotic can also eliminate mycoplasma pneumonia. So it's often treated without the patient even knowing they had the infection. The exception to this rule is penicillin, as it works on the cell wall and the bacteria has a sterile and not a proteoglycan layer. So the guideline for treatment goes as microlides, doxycycline, fluoroquinolones. Think of protein synthesis inhibitors. So to recap, mycoplasma pneumonia is an unstainable bacteria that we can culture using Eton agar. It causes walking pneumonia among soldiers and prisoners and the X-ray findings are significantly more severe than the patient's presentation. They will have high immunoglobin M, which are known as the cold agglutinin tests, and they can lead to hemolysis. We treat them with protein synthesis inhibitors. And here's a small quiz. What is the shape of the bacteria? It is pleomorphic. Alright guys, that's all I have and thank you so much for watching.